Hey everyone, in this video we are going to have a look in just a few steps at how to seed the database with data that come from a JSON file within our app. In this example, we'll use the movies.json file to seed the movies table with the top 100 movies ranked by IMDb. Let's get started. I already have the JSON file prepared right here, but if you want to follow along, I'll leave a download link in the show notes. Alright, so let's say the JSON file resides in storage app JSON folder. It may not be the best place to store it, but for the purpose of this example, it will do just fine. Next up, we need a movies table, so let's go ahead and create an eloquent model class. Open up a terminal and write php artisan make model movie. Great, now let's go ahead and open the movie model and let's define the name of the table. So let's go and say protected table movies and the fields that we want to get filled. So that is protected, fillable. And the fields are title and ID IMDB. All right, cool. Now that we have the model set up, let's go ahead and create a migration for our table. Open up a terminal and write PHP artisan make migration create movies table. Let's open the migration file and um, let's add the title in the ID IMDB columns so that um, it matches the structure of the JSON data from our file. So that is table string title and the second column is called ID IMDB. Cool. Now let's run the migration by saying php artisan migrate. All right, let's check the database to make sure that the migration is here. All right, so is the table movies here. Great. Now comes the fun part. We have to create a seeder class that reads the JSON file extracts the data and then insert or update it into the database. So inside the terminal, let's say php artisan make seeder and let's call it movie table seeder. All right, cool. Let's close the terminal for now. So inside the seeder um, goes our whole logic. Um, let's create a JSON variable and let's make sure we use Laravel storage facade to read the file from our local storage folder. Um, so it's get and the path is um, JSON slash JSON slash movies.json um, Now let's decode the data by saying json decode and we want our data to be an associative array. Now that we have our associative array we have to for each over each movie Um, let's first import the storage facade so we don't miss it out. Right, so now that we have our model set up, let's use it and query it. And we will say update or create, which receive an array of objects. Uh, sorry, an uh, array of key value pairs 
and our keys are title and id imdb and um, the values should be in movie uh, title and movie it imdb let's import the movie model all right so everything should be set up let's open the terminal um actually you have to call the seeder first so let's open the database seeder and um, call our movie table seeder here so that is this call movie table database seeder class all right um, now everything should be set up and we can call php artisan db seed all right so our seed um, has been uh, completed successfully and we can open up our db refresh it and let's check the data awesome everything is how we wanted it to be all right i hope you now have a clear view of how you can seed a database with data from a json file if you like this video, stick around this channel because I will post more free resources like this one. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram where I also share web development and other geeky stuff. I was Carol and I'll see you in the next one.